All right, here we go. Guys, what's on your minds? TJ. <laughs> okay, so there are some iconic moments in sports, and we almost had one with Buddy Heald hitting a, a game winning shot from half court. I want to share this picture. This is how we immortalize sports now. And if you can see down there, I think it's actually covered up by the Sunday sound off. Yeah, there we go. Look yeah. at Blair Kirkhoff's face <laughs> as he is watching Buddy Heald climb over the media table into the stands. I really wish that shot had counted just so we could see that picture in the newspaper the next day. All right, go ahead, Blair. Yeah, yeah, I got, yeah. What, what am I going to say to that? <laughs> he almost stepped on my laptop. That's that. That was, that was my reaction for that. Oh, the star paid for that. Good one, TJ. Listen, I've got. Uh, I've never had any good Final Four NCAA bracket advice. The only thing I'll, I'll suggest that you do is start in the middle and work your way back. Pick your champion in your Final Four teams. Work your way back. My Final Four, Kansas, Michigan State, Kentucky, and Oklahoma. So those are four teams you know not to pick in your Final Four. <laughs> <laughs> Seren, your last word tonight. I'm not done with the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm going to tell you. I mean, this is my fear that you win a playoff game and then everybody just lets down. That's, that's the frustration here is that when you have a team and you finally have some success. That's what we're all worried about with the Kansas City Royals, right? Is if they're just going to suddenly tank it and mail it in. Well, here the Chiefs come off their first playoff win in 23 years. And how do they answer the bell? They squander away $4 million in cap room because they can't get the Tomba Holy contract done. Then they come back and they lose a third and a sixth round draft pick at, at, for tampering with Jeremy Macklin. What's going on over there? Look, if you don't have the Hall of Fame quarterback, you can't be messing up like this. You have to be sharper than everybody else. They're blowing it right now, and no one's really worried about $4 million now until they lose somebody that can, or they can't get a free agent, like a wide out, which they can really use right now to make a difference on this offense. It's sloppy right now. It's sloppy, and Chiefs fans should be concerned. Amen I, to that. I agree with that. Now, just a little kumbaya. We're all now going to sing the Villanova fight song. <laughs> v for Villanova. V. I'm allowed to do that. I know Kansas fans. Relax. Okay? I, I am Relax. pretty sure, Frank, I don't see Arkansas and I don't see App State in this field. So the one thing we can agree Rats. on is at least you and I have our squad still going. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Yep, Mizzou isn't going anywhere this postseason, folks. Guarantee you that much. All right, Graham Benziger's up.